Hi, my name is Kevin Hopper and welcome to another video tutorial uh, on 3D Studio Max. This one is on retiming. So we're going to start off by making a box. I'm going to give this a dimension of uh, 20 length, this is in centimeters, 20 width and 20 height, with length, width and height segments of 1, 1, 1. Next we're going to add this to an array. So we're going to click on Tools, Array. In this Array parameter dialog box, we'll click on Preview, just so we can see ver alive what is going on. If we change the X positioning to, let's say, 22, since our box is 20 centimeters, we'll see a bunch of boxes are flying out to the side. We only want three boxes flying out to the side. But we also want three boxes in a second dimension. So we're going to turn on the second dimension, turn on three, and instead of using our X positioning, we're going to use our Y positioning, 22. So we got a nice little array. But we're going to turn on the third dimension. And we're also going to use three boxes, but this time we'll put 22 in the Z position. So now we have, I clicked on OK, and we have a nice little box of arrays. I'll rotate this a little bit so that, because we're going to make them fall, and it'll be a little bit more interesting. So I'll move these up here. So now we're going to add them to our Mass Effects tool set by clicking on the Dynamic Rigid Body object. If we now run the simulation, we will see the boxes fall down rather nicely. We're going to click on here on our options go to our options panel and click on bake all. Now the box is all baked. As you can see I've set up a camera to rotate around the scene so that if we go into our camera view we get a nice perspective of our boxes falling down. So let's add a slow motion effect. Select your boxes, right click and click on curve editor. The curve editor that we're all familiar with will pop up. If you are new to 3 Studio Max 2013, you'll notice this Retime tool. Click on the Retime tool. Notice that a new toolbox opened over here, including a new parameter called Retimer 0. All these parameters are now added to Retimer 0, indicated by the R0 in brackets. If we unfold one of the parameters, you'll see an ease curve. This, con this right now doesn't contain any information, but we're about to give it some. To use the Retime tool, just double click in your scene. You'll notice a new yellow bar just opened up. Move the yellow bar where you want the slow motion effect to start. I would say right about here, where it actually is right now. Notice that I can move the yellow bar without any effect on the timeline. This is because I'm grabbing it at the thin point. If I move it at the thick, at the thick part of the bar, it moves the entire timeline. So if you notice, if you, if you run into the problem of your retiming not doing anything when you're moving these bars, it is because you're grabbing the thin part and not the thick area. Now look for a good area where you would want the slow motion effect to stop. I would say around here. So I'll double click here to add a new bar. It can be a little tricky to try to get back to the thick one, uh, to, to try to find a thick line, but zooming in and, mo and panning around in your curve editor usually solves that problem. You can then drag that thick line and notice that it now shifts everything on this side of the thick line over to the right and anything in between gets stretched out. So now if we play this animation the boxes are falling down and then going into slow motion mode. But notice how it doesn't really look like slow motion, it looks more like the boxes are just slowing down or falling slower or encountering some sort of resistance. 
This is due to the fact that the same effect is not happening to the camera. The good thing about this new retime tool is that if we select the camera, all we would have to do is highlight the area that we want affected by the slow motion effect and click on assign. Now the same retimer zero is assigned to the camera's percentage. So now if we play the animation, the camera also slows down, feeding much more into the realism of this being a slow motion effect. Here's where the dilemma comes in. Let's delete all the objects. To select them, I'm going to go to Select by Color. As an alternative, you can also change your selection to Geometry. Select all your boxes and delete them. I'm also going to go back into the Curve Editor and tell the camera to no longer be affected by the retimer zero. This can be done by clicking on the retime tool and deleting zero, retimer zero. So now the camera is back to normal. So let's make a cloth object. I'm going to make it a box. 80 by 80 by 80 and I'm going to give it segments 10, 10, 10. I'll move this box up, rotate a little bit and add a cloth, a M cloth modifier on it. But before I'll bake the simulation, I'm going to switch some of the parameters. Stretchiness 0.5 and bendiness 0.5. That's all I really need. Baking it will reveal that the box now collapses into this soft object. I'll move it out a little bit. It seems to be a little close to the camera. That's much better. Now if we wanted to add the retime tool to the cloth, we will run into a little bit of a problem. If we open up the Curve Editor, you'll notice that we don't have any keyframes to, re re to retime. If we go into the M cloth, we can go into the Master Point Controller, and there you will see each vertex on this box. Notice that the box has 601 vertexes. So this would be a lot of data to retime and would probably be a little annoying. So an alternate, as an alternative, what you can do is add a point cache modifier. This will allow you to store the data of all the vertices and their position in time. Click on New to create a new file. We're going to call this Cloth01. This one, we want to write only one file that starts from zero and ends at frame 100. Once we hit record, it has now created the file. You can see right here in the cache info that it has written the file. If I now click on disable modifiers below, it turned off the M cloth, but, the M, but it's still behaving as a cloth. It is still working. This is because it's now reading the position of every vertex from this cache files. If we click on it right here in playback time, a uh, playback type, we can click on playback graph. So, but notice now the box does not move because right now we're telling it to that we're controlling its play graph, uh, playback. So if I say we are at frame 50 and we want the box to be at frame 100, we could do that by just sliding this slider. 
So let's go to frame 0 and tell the box that it needs to be at frame 0. Turn on auto key, go to frame 100 and tell the box that it needs to be at frame 100. Now the box is behaving just as it was before but when we go into the curve editor and click on the modifier object and click on the point cache we now have something to play with. I'm going to switch these to linear curves. Now we can click on the retime tool to add a new retimer zero. I can now indicate where I would like the retiming to start and where I would like it to end. And then I can drag out the retiming. So now the cloth is retimed just as we retimed the boxes earlier, which is very nice. Let's add the same thing to the camera. Notice that when I just clicked on the retime tool, it added retimer 1. I don't want that. I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to assign a, a retimer 0. Let's move this out a little bit. Not bad, but let's see what else we got. Note that the retime tool allows you to do a few more things, such as you can click on the top bar and change the curve mode. We can ease in, so we get a hard stop, and we can ease out. So it, it's the slowdown is gradual and then the speed up is pretty harsh. The retime tool is also not limited to two uh, drag lines. You can click anywhere again and create a third. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If it helped you at all, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it and I wasted your time, give me a thumbs down uh, and uh, feel free to leave any comments or um, email me if you have any issues or questions. Thank you for your time and uh, good luck.